As we kind of look forward and, and, and we've evolved with high definition graphics, uh, the focus really becomes um, very broad across the franchise. We've been able to, to really capture that swing. Um, we've got a number of, of courses, players obviously in the game. We've really hit online and given people the ability to compete in unique ways. And as we kind of look to the future, um, a big part of that is in the motion gaming and some of the new experiences that we can develop that really pick, take people from being on their couch, in their living room, and putting them on the course. And it's something that is an experience that you can only really realize in this game. Designing for the move was easy. Uh, the hard part was mapping our traditional UI to the move. But what you get is in game, you can really take advantage of the move. In the traditional controller, you have the stick to do the, the swing, which is just an up-down motion. And we're detecting how far off of up and down, so it's just like this. But what we've been able to do with the move is to take the sw your actual swing. So you'd swing like an actual golf club, so you can get feedback of the actual swing and we can put it into our physics engine and you'll actually see the correct ball flight. We've tuned the game, there's different difficulties. So on the easy difficulty, it's pretty easy to get a straight shot. But uh, on the more difficult settings, it's just like you're playing real, real golf. Uh, the highest setting, you know, you could, it's, it's easy to hit a nice shot, shape, but then uh, if you go too far off, you'll get a slice. With the traditional controller, you know, pretty much people can get an up and down motion pretty easily, but uh, with the golf swing, as you know, there's, there's a lot of variation in the golf swing. So the, the way that we used to uh, gather our data was through GPS. Uh, that gave us probably about a foot to two feet tolerance on our data collection. With the laser scanning technology, I lay down a base scan that gives us about six millimeters of resolution. Then when we get uh, closer and closer to the uh, green complexes and the, and the very detailed areas, the sand, sand traps, uh, we can ramp that up to the maximum density of one millimeter. Um, it helped the workflow tremendously. We can get pinpoint accuracy. We can bring it in-house. We can convert it into Maya, our 3D software program, and get data really quickly, which makes everything really uh, great to work with. Augusta National has been very, very receptive to our scanning technology. I think that played a large part in, in them being comfortable with us uh, replicating their course in, in the game. We were able to show them uh, on our computer screens what the actual resolution that we gathered from their course and how that was going to transfer into exact res resolution in the game itself. So when we approached them with the laser scan scanning technology, they were very receptive to that. One of the things that we've looked at from previous years is the way that the crowd surrounds greens, especially when it comes down to the 17th and 18th, and people are shuffling all the way down. We wanted to really create that tournament atmosphere that, that maybe we haven't quite been able to do in the past. And what you'll see is um, now we've got 3D crowd and we've got a lot more depths. So we're used to see maybe 10 or 15 individuals around the green and lining the fairways. You're now seeing 10 times that amount. And we're really excited about the immersion that that creates uh, by giving it, again, just that tournament atmosphere. With all those people around the green and with gamers hitting shots and, and really going aggressively to try and bring about the best possible scores, every now and then a spectator is going to be hit. And so you do see those hit reactions because they are alive, they are on the course, and they're not just 2D characters. Presentation is something that we look at every year. How do we make the game look better? Definitely plays a key role in immersion. And so we highlighted a few different things this year. We definitely wanted to give the game more of a broadcast feel. We looked at the character models and we did some work to really bring out the likenesses in the players, unlike has ever been seen in the Tiger Woods PGA Tour franchise. We've obviously added a whole new level of detail into our courses. The moment people see Augusta, they'll see, wow, what an upgrade that we've done on the course side of things. But we've also looked at grass, which is an interesting one. And for a number of years, we've been talking about grass, and it, and it sounds kind of funny, but there's there's been something missing. And so what we really wanted to do was 
bring out those individual blades of grass. And so when you get into the second cut, you'll immediately notice that, wow, this is 3D grass. And when I swing my club through, I actually see the grass animate. It's a little thing, but it's funny how much it's become a big thing for those amongst the dev team. And alas, we've been able to, uh, to get it in. And I think people will really appreciate what it delivers.